returned back to the beginning. He was determined to read it to the end now and discover what it was all about. He felt that it must all be set down there in print. And though in childhood he could not understand it, he would be able to fathom it now. It was called the Midnight Express. And as he read the first paragraph, it began to dawn upon him slowly, fearfully, inevitably. It was the story of a man who in childhood long ago had chanced upon a book in which there was a picture that frightened him. He had grown up and forgotten it in one night upon a lonely railroad platform. He had found himself in the remembered scene of the picture. He had confronted the solitary figure under the lamp, recognized it, and fled in panic. He had taken shelter in a wayside cottage, had been led to an upper room, and found the book awaiting him, and had begun to read it right through to the very end at last. And this book, too, was called The Midnight Express. Forever and forever and forever, there was no escape.
forever and forever and forever there was no escape